Hi, my name is Jeremy Shines, and today we're going to be talking about my methamphetamine um, testimony experience. Welcome to it. Well, basically when I got out of the military, um, I met up with an old friend, and he introduced me to it. And it was really an intense experience, nonetheless. So... It was like, I took it in a glass smoking form, and it's like a ruling of a lot of thoughts. I mean, the moment I smoked it, I just felt a rush of a lot of thoughts, a lot. And it felt like there was people in my head that were like really, really... Um, trying, and this, this, it was intense. I mean, there's, there's so many, there's so much knowledge in, in the world. It's infinite, it's infinite of ways of being, and it starts with thinking, and basically, it's just a rush of thoughts, a rush of personality. It's a rush. It's just like, the moment you think you have a thought, you don't have that thought. That thought's passed, and the next thought's passed, and the next thought's passed, and the next thought's passed. It sounds like DMT. I've seen videos and documentaries about that, but it wasn't because you're still in your body. But it's like you can't grasp a thought. You can't hold on to a thought. It keeps moving and moving and moving and moving. And there's just no peace. But there is euphoria and a huge awareness to what is around it's like you're looking at the dna codes to everything but not visually but more um uh, psychosisly i guess and you can't hold a thought it's just the only way i can really explain it and the high lasts for about 10 minutes and then you're, then it just drops. And literally, I remember one time I was walking down the steps and the high was just dropped. And I was, I literally, thank God, was at the end of the steps and I just collapsed. And um, uh, another good friend, his brother, saw that and he was like, "Oh, do you need any like, you know, vitamins or anything?" Like he didn't know that I was on meth. I think I did tell him though. But it was just, it was a lot. It was a lot to take in. And um, that friendship had ended. Thank God, um, a blessing in disguise. It didn't end politely, but it ended. And it saved my life because later on, as I went into San Francisco, I mean, I got to really experience where it could have taken me. And it was, it had hold on people's lives down to where they were walking around completely destroyed and just completely just boned out. Um, one of the experiences that comes along with it is we have these glands in our mouths that every time we open our jaws, it shoots saliva inside so we can talk or even when we eat, um, it helps with the moisture of our mouth. Well, those glands get dried out when you're on it. And it is not very polite. Your whole mouth is dry when those glands are not active. And it is really not fun. <laughs> um, I drank a lot of water. It didn't help. Um, you don't eat. You don't crave food. It's totally like, I'm not hungry at all. I don't want to eat. Like food actually seems disgusting. Um, but you need to eat. And the side kicker of it is don't eat anything spicy. And I'm not condoning doing this drug or doing any drugs besides Jesus. When you have hot sauce with this drug, it is, it hurts. It feels like 
painful in your mouth. Um, I remember trying to eat a chicken sandwich with hot sauce on it or just even hot foods. It was just horrible. But long story to the end, uh, I was delivered from a blessing and later on got to see what kind of future I would have had. I thank God for helping me and saving me, guarding angel, um, pulling me out of that circumstance, that friendship ending, and um, my journey to give you guys this testimony to say what it's like and what you don't need. Because the best drug you can ever have is Jesus, and he loves you. I mean, when we fully experience God's love for us, it over consumes anything that you could ever want to experience. So that's the testimony of men. And I didn't take it shooting up. I seen it and that was surreal. But um, it's out there and there's a lot of things to pull you away from God. Don't get distracted. Follow God. And if you're not following God, follow God. God bless, we love you. He loves you. You are worth more than you could ever. Take care.